cooking, as we can say. Um, there's, you, and you alluded to the fact there's this new invention that we need to know about. And it is called, well, no, that's the wine there. Well, we got on this so these repaw thingy jiggies, it's a brand new invention. Now this is plastic. It's all made from recyclable materials. And what happens is this starves the oxygen or it uh, eats up all the oxygen. So as you can see right now, we've probably had a glass of wine out of this very expensive $55 bottle of wine from Zonzo Estate. Now, rip that this is And inside there, are elements, chemicals, whatever you call them, that will actually suck up, not suck up, but actually eat all the oxygen in that bottle of wine right now. Which the oxygen being bad for this, if it gets too much, will Well, the wine will turn into vinegar. Well, well, it, first of all, after a, few, after a couple of days, the wine will start tasting flat. It won't have that vibrancy that you um, initially had in it. Okay, uh, and then after about a week or two weeks, it'll actually start tasting a, bit, a little bit vile. And that's when you just plop the cork back in there. Oh, and we no, don't no. want to do that. No, we don't. So how long do these last? Indefinitely. So I can put this in the fridge, sorry, I can put this in the cupboard and save my $55 bottle of wine for Christmas Day because i got mum and dad coming over. Exactly, you could save it for six months. Oh, fantastic. And they actually have used this invention so it will last for six months. But I, it's only one bottle. This one thing will only last you one bottle. But the thing is, you can actually take this out, pour yourself another glass and pour the thing back, put the thing back on and it will still last. Ah, okay. Now I used this in Stockholm on a really, like a $100 bottle of Chianti Classico. Ooh. It was really Ooh. delicious. And I had the glass of wine to start off with. Yeah, it was really pretty good. I made my nose to make sure what it was like. And then I put it back in and I tasted it a month later, the wine was exactly the same. That is fascinating. Okay, so this is a great little invention. It's called Repour, um, definitely approved and works. Um, my only thing that I have an issue with. There is one. Recyclability. Cannot recycle these. Well, the thing is, it is made of recycled materials. But you can't actually recycle it. But the problem is, it's so small that when you put it through recycling, it'll actually just get shifted out as waste. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that's an issue, and they are trying to address this. Maybe you could put it inside a milk bottle, a plastic milk bottle, and then it'll it get re recycled that, that way. What's, the same what's your recommendation then for using? What types of wine? Like, is it, what I use All this wine. on my $10 bottle of wine or $15 well, bottle of wine? it depends how rich you are. Well, I'm not very rich at all and I'll drink anything that's wet, but you know, for most people. I think maybe if you're, if you're, if you don't go through a lot of wine or if you don't want to have a, it's, it's, it, you do the math. Um, if you're pouring out, if you've bought a bottle of wine that costs $30 and you have to pour $15 of that wine down the sink because it doesn't taste any good in a week's time, is it worth you could have had, it, it's absolutely worth two dollars. Yeah, you you could save way. the wine. So in that respect, it's an excellent idea. My only issue is um, how we're going to solve the fact that it's uh, recyclability. But they are dealing with that. We are dealing with that. Hey, excellent. This are you ready like to try spinning. this? Yes. So this is going in the cupboard for Christmas Day. Thank you very much, Santa Claus.